HD10, Double Dog Concepts, side charging handle system for the AR10, AR308 rifle. I want to go over some of the parts that you'll get with your unit and the installation process. So real quick we'll break down the parts. Just like the original, you'll have your pull handle and rod. Your charging handle with an improved gas deflection or knurled edge for gripping. Your protruding release lever. The receiver. Two small receiver bolts. adjustable tip that is reverse threaded. A small bolt is reverse threaded into a block in the bottom that is roll pinned in. Here's your adjustable tip. And the receiver. You have your mount which has a mount bolt and inside the mount is a locking block that is roll pinned to keep it from coming out. And inside the locking block, there is a sliding nut that is held inside the locking block and retained by that roll pin. All right, now we'll go over the installation process for the HC-10 side charge and handle system for the AR-10 AR-308 rifle from Double Dog Concepts. All right, when you get your unit, it will look like this. You'll have two Allen keys that go with it. Actually, one is a Torx T25, and the other one is a two millimeter Allen key for your reverse threaded adjustable tip. So when you get the unit, all you'll pretty much do is take the charge and handle and push rod and uh, pull handle out. And you're going to want to loosen all the bolts. So you don't want to take the bolt all the way out, just loosen it enough so it'll be able to mount. And then you want to loosen the tip, it should be loose enough, move the tip out of the way. Then you're going to take your upper receiver, you're going to install your charging handle first. Going to install the rod and the pull handle and then turn that down. You're going to take your receiver, put it over top, and you're going to find the slot that the bolt is going to be able to mount to. See, the bolt in the mount is adjustable where it will slide back and forth depending on your Picatinny rail location. So you want to slide the receiver all the way down until it just stops. Don't put any pressure on it or else it'll disengage that release lever. Until it stops, then find the mount location on the Arrow M5 here. It looks like it likes to mount in slot number T6. So from there, we will take it off. Remember the location. Remove your charging handle. And then we're going to mount it into that slot. We're going to start the mount bolt until it just starts to tighten. And then you want to push it all the way forward. This is also designed to slide back and forth for the different upper receivers that have different slot cuts. So slide it forward and tighten it just till it starts to stop. You still want this loose for your elevation. So from there, we're going to insert the pull handle and push rod, insert your charging handle, lock it into place. And we're going to re-loosen this just a touch and make sure that it's stopped in place. You don't want any big gap on the end of the receiver by the push or the pull handle. So make sure it's in place, mount it up nice. Then you're gonna tighten it just a touch. 
run your pull handle in and out a couple times, your charging handle in and out a couple times, loosen it and tighten it. Just snug hand tight, we recommend a nice thread locker once you have this thing all in place. And then when you run it a couple times, what it's going to do is going to start adjusting the elevation of this receiver in relation to that mount. You'll see a little gap right there. Puts it nice in place. So you're going to want to tighten those down a little bit, not all the way. Going to want to make sure it's all running smooth. Tighten them down just so they're snug. Remember we recommend a thread locker. Nice and smooth. The last thing you're going to want to do up here is adjust your adjustable tip to that upper receiver. Slide it over. Remember, this bolt is reverse threaded. So it doesn't turn away when you go to tighten it. You'll be able to hold it in place and tighten it right down. Just light pressure against it. You don't want it to push hard and push it out of place. And you're going to check, make sure nice disengagement. Do a quick field strip, back installation, and you're good to go. Something we recommend is a break-in process. You take uh, some grease. We use the Modern Spartan Systems Spartan Accuracy Grease. You can apply it to some of the charging handle. Or you might get some rub locations in the pole handle in the receiver channel. And run it a few times. Take it apart, clean it, re-grease re it. Run it a few more times, put it back together, and you'll be good to go. That's all you need to install your HC10 AR10 AR308 side charging handle system from Devil Dog Concepts. Got any questions? You can reach out to us at sales at devildogconcepts.com. You can check out all our content, follow us, like, subscribe. We appreciate you all and God bless.